Hello guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to look at the Ford Ventures ration pack, menu P, it's Lancashire Hot Pot. This is a self-heating ration pack, so you've got everything that you need to eat your food. Drinks, you would need some water, but that's a given, not a problem. I'm quite excited to get this one open, this is the first one that I've tried out of the Ford Ventures ones that I've bought. don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I will link it in for you. I did buy quite a few rations from Ford Ventures. They've got some fantastic stuff on their website and I'm really excited to get into this one. Let's open it up, take a look and see what we've got. So there it is then guys, straight away we can see we've got ourselves a nice thick sturdy Ziploc bag. So that can be used to purify water, it can be used to gather water if you need to, you know. It's raining, you're stuck out in the field, you lost, you broke your ankle. Nobody knows where you are because you don't have tracking enabled on your phone, naughty naughty. But at least you've got something where you can catch yourself some water. The only thing you need water for in this pack, apart from giving yourself a lot, is for your drinks. Everything else, you're good. Now this meal, this particular one, contains a few items. And everything is labelled with dietary, nutritional and allergen information. And we have got a little warning down here that the heat pack gets very hot when activated. Could be useful if you've got hypothermia. So let's see what we've got. So straight away, there's our Lancashire Hot Pot. It's a hot pack meal, it's 300 grams. It contains mutton, which is lamb, potatoes, carrots, onions, mushrooms, celery, even things like lemon juice, and rosemary, beef bouillon. It sounds really good. And if we look at the uh, energy you've got from this, you've got 72 calories per 100 grams. So it's going to give you the energy you need and keep you going and on the back we can see we've got a fantastic date there june 2023 we all know that these packs last a lot longer than that but why do that if we don't need to next out we've got our hot pack flameless ration heater there we go and we've got our ginormous biodegradable shovel my mouth is just not big enough for these things but when you're in a hurry you can really get your food down your neck with one of those and of course, as I said, they're biodegradable. They are good for the environment. But our drinks pack. Can't forget about our drinks, can we? Again, what a fantastic day to 2023. Looking very much like the Arifo cakes. Probably made in the same place, to be fair. We've got 85 grams of chocolate cake. If that's not going to make you feel good, I don't know what will. Glucose sweets, fruit drops. Sugar, glucose, citrus, we've got, it looks like we've got pear, lemon, lime, strawberry, raspberry even. Got a lovely little bag of sweets to keep in our pocket, keep us going. We've got our high five energy drink, orange flavour, before, during or after. So this can be consumed at any time. Very simple instructions there, put into 500ml of water, shake well and drink. Fantastic. A pair of 47 gram serving, this is going to give you 175 calories. So if you're hiking around, that's going to give you a very, very good boost. Next up, we've got ourselves a lemon scented wet wipe, so we can clean ourselves up before or after. Or it might just be useful if you have an emergency toilet stop. Then, we've got our very popular salted caramel protein bar. 65 grams there, and you can see you've got 20 grams of protein. 1.9 grams of sugar, and that's probably because the rest of the sugar is something like sugar polyols, which are sugar alcohols. And this contains 196 calories and is high in fibre. Maybe we should have some toilet paper. And to go with our coffee, we have got ourselves a little caramelised biscuit. Lovely stuff. So let's see what we've got in our drinks pack. Okay then, so in our drinks pack, we've got a very handy Ziploc bag. Very good to keep whatever we haven't drunk. Nice and collected, so we can keep that in the side pocket of our bag, you don't have to keep it with the main ration pack. We can segregate it if we need to. So we've got our Galaxy Hot Chocolate, which is a nice change from some of the ones where they include, I'm not going to name brands, but there are some certain ones I really just don't like. Uh, we've got two tea and coffee white now, so we don't have to choose between our coffee or our tea which one we're going to put it in. And we've got four sugar. The hot chocolate is sweet enough, it contains a lot of sugar. It doesn't need any sugar, but we've got two sugar to go with our tea, two sugar to go with our coffee and as you'll notice we've got Nescafe Gold Blend so we've gone for the bolder more refined coffee than your standard Nescafe that you'd see in most 
civilian ration packs. Right, so let's crack on, let's get this out into a tray. And there it is then guys, laid out nice hasn't it? Now I don't normally do all the drinks, but as this is the first four Ventures ration that I've reviewed, I'm going to get them all out. Why not? Are you excited? Right, so we're going to take our hot pack. It does have the sticky label, but these generally tend to fail. So, use clip. And for anyone that's not used a flameless ration heater before, as most people won't have done, you've got all your instructions that you need on the back. So you grip and tear it off. Doesn't work properly, try the other side. Still doesn't work properly, get a knife. It's nice and wide because we've got a wide meal pack here. Typically the size of the ones that they use in the British Army. Although I do think myself personally they should use the ones the US Army use because they are a lot smaller. They contain the same amount of food so why not? I'm sure there's some sort of reason. Maybe it's something to do with laws or something. Who knows? You don't overfill these. Just drop in a bit of water. Fold it over, flip it up, and swish it a bit. Alrighty, now I had to be patient with this one. It did take quite a while to get going, but that can happen. So don't worry about it too much. As you can see now, it's really going for it. So patience is key. Right, let's move this out of the way. Let it do its thing. Alright, so let's open everything else up. We'll open up our chocolate cake first. It comes in a very tough bag. That's because it's made to last. Just like the military refro cakes, it comes wrapped in some paper to protect it and stop it from sticking to your bag. It is a lot like chocolate pancake. Let's open our protein bar. There we go. Bog standard looking protein bar. Doesn't smell too bad. I've eaten a lot of protein bars. My favourite is grenade to be fair. I do like those ones. Or PhD. There's our caramelised biscuit. Let's mix up our orange energy drink. Got a nice little pear hole there so we can just rip straight through and you can see it's a white powder so it's very nondescript and we'll just pour it into the bottle because you have to mix it with 500 ml of water it's sinking to the bottom lovely rather than sitting on the top like some of the uh, ORP powders can do I'm liking that there we go I was expecting it to be orange to be honest. Not everything's mixed, so we'll give it another shake again in a bit. Let's have a smell. It certainly smells orange, that's a good sign. Alright, let's get our hot drinks made up. Alright, let's start with the hot chocolate. So, very easy to open. And this will give us the 99 calories of energy. I do like galaxy chocolate. There we go. Next we're going to go with our PG tips. There we go. It's our little bag. And then we've got our Nescafe gold blend. I'm not going to drink all of this, otherwise I'll be up till tomorrow. As we can see, it's a larger grain coffee. Smells quite strong. Two whiteners, bad milk, one for the tea. Job done. There we go. I've got some hot water in this flask, so we'll just fill them all up.
every time. Right, so here's our main. It has got some bits of the FRH, so it might be white to go while to start up, so I'm not going to put that down on the tray. There we go, let's open it up and squeeze it all out. That looks really good. Right, let's fold this in half so I don't get all of my hand. Now, this is smelling amazing, actually. It's smelling so much better than I was expecting. That's only because lamb stews and stuff like that, which is essentially what a Lancashire hot pot is, don't always smell that great. Right, let's use our wipes since I've got the FRH all over me. This is massive. Look at that. Quite stretchy. Fairly strong. Very slightly scented. And very moist. Lovely stuff. Right, let's have a look at our orange drink first. Near enough all dissolved. Let's give it a try. It's not that strong with the orange, but it uh, actually it's really quite nice for an energy drink. A lot of those types of drinks can be a bit tangy, a bit weird, but I like that one. Let's try a hot chocolate. Well, it is hot, as it says, but nice. Let's just get rid of that tea bag. Standard PG tips. It's a nice cup of tea. I'm not a big tea drinker, but I'll drink that, especially on a cold morning. Nescafe Gold Blend, bottoms up. If you like your coffee strong, you're going to enjoy that. That is nice. That is a really nice drink. Of course, we drip, dip our biscuits in as well, but this is what I'm dying to try. So straight away, we can see we've got a bit of mushroom in there. We've got a carrot, nice chunks of potato. And very surprisingly, we've got some very nice chunks of lamb there, look. So let's see if we can get a bit of everything. I'm glad I took this one to be the first to try. You know, it looks and smells so good. So, there it is, guys. Lancashire Hot Pot. The new pea. That has got to be one of the best meals I have ever had out of a retort pouch. Damn, that is nice. Steve, you've got top marks for this one, mate. That is awesome. I could eat this day in day out. This is a really, really solid meal. This is really tasty. Really good. I mean, look at that. A cracking chunk of lamb there. Nice big piece of potato. We've got a bit of mushroom in the back. What more could you ask for? Mmm. Now, I know there's no salt or pepper loose in the pack, but it doesn't need it. You could put it with it if you wanted to. A couple of rounds of bread would be lovely with this. This is good. Yes, guys, this one has my seal of approval. Honest to God, you know I'll tell you if I don't like a meal. That has got to be the best retort pouch meal I've had. It really has. Let's have our biscuit and our hot chocolate. Right, so we've all seen the Eurefo ones of these. If you haven't, I'll link in one of my other videos. You can take a look. There's just like a block of solid pancake, lovely chocolate flavour. It's dense but moist at the same time. It's very, very moorish. Breaks lovely, but it doesn't completely crumble. It tastes just like a chocolate sheet pancake without the icing. Some cakes, it tastes just like the Arifo ones. They must be made in the same place. Amazing. Wow, well, this, this menu is knocking my socks off. Let's try the protein bar. Let's break it in half. As you can see there, got the caramel and the inside chocolate. It's a lovely cross section and it's not crumbled. Let's take a bite. It smells like chocolate and salted caramel. It tastes just like a protein bar would. I've got no qualm to it. It's nice. I've had better, but it is nice. I've got no qualms at that protein bar at all. It's nice. You can taste protein in it, yeah, but. I've had protein bars where it is much, much more profound. And you really do just have to choke them down. That one you could eat quite easily. This, this is going down really well. Mm. 
Fantastic stuff. And we've got our hardboard sweets. I'll tell you what, we'll open up a lemon one. We've got two lemon and lime. All individually wrapped. It's all glucose sweets to give you energy and got pure confectionery written on there. I don't know if you can see it. That's just your standard hardboard sweet or hardboard candy if you're on the other side of the pond. So it's exactly like I expect them would. Cracking stuff. So if any of the other four adventures ration packs or anything like this one. I know the size is pretty much the same. He's getting in other things like peanut butter, little army fruit pieces. But yeah, peanut butter. That's exciting. We need some crackers as well. But this is this is awesome. I would happily have this I'm going out on a day hike, on a walk, in my backpack as an emergency meal, in the car. The sides, they're good. Absolutely good. And as long as the main changes, it doesn't matter. But if the rest of the mains are anything to go by with regards to this one. Oh, I've got some nice meals in my future. For adventurers, this is a thumbs up for me. Honestly, cracking meal. Well, I've enjoyed it. If anybody else buys it, if you enjoy it, let me know in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see in these ration packs along with the main? Any different sides? Any other ideas you've got? Let me know. Steve's looking. I'm sure he's interested to see everyone's feedback. I am. I like talking to you guys. And it's been a pleasure, as always. So please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell button, you'll know when I put up a new video. And stay safe. I'll be back with you soon for more eats, treats and MREs. Mm -hmm.